Mike Dan Schinder here on Drum Talk TV at NAMM 2014 with Josh from Ludwig. How long have you been with Ludwig? Uh, a little over three years. Three years, and in those three years have you fallen, well you were probably a drummer before, right? Yeah, you know, my, my dad was a drummer and uh, bought a set of Ludwigs in 1968, and that's what I grew up playing. So I've been a Ludwig, Ludwig man since I was born. Wow, so what's it like finally going to work for such a legacy? Dream come true. It's, it's awesome. That's cool. Tell us a, a little bit about what you can, the history of Ludwig. I mean, it's probably the most iconic name in drums, I think, that's still around. Which, would that be fair to say? I sure hope so, yeah. Uh, started by uh, William F. Ludwig uh, about, well, actually we're celebrating our 105th anniversary this year. Um, we've uh, been making drums right here in the United States for, for 105 years. Uh, and actually another important anniversary is uh, 50 years this year is when uh, Ringo Starr brought uh, Ludwig to the forefront of the drum industry uh, on, on the uh, Ed Sullivan Show. So that's uh, 50 years this year. And that did a lot for drums and not just Ludwig, but like you said, the whole industry kind of took a little turn right there because there was a popular person that was representing out there. That's a big thing. Yeah, it absolutely transformed the, the music industry and uh, we were right in the front of it, which was great. That's cool. Now skipping ahead, where's Ludwig at now as far as, has the culture of the company evolved or changed or at the sa is it the same culture that it was 105 years ago? Well, uh, being 32 years old, I can't uh, <laughs> I can't tell you that, but um, you know we're we're still all about making drums in the United States and uh, making them sound the best they can and work the best for working drummers. Great. What are some new innovations that you're showing here at NAMM that people can look forward to to finding in the drum shops and music stores around the country and around the world in in 2014? Well, uh, Signet 105 is uh, the drum sets right right to the right of me here. Uh, that's the big project that uh, we're launching at the show this year. Uh, it's a new drum set designed to bring our USA made maple shells to a much more accessible price point. So um, again, these are these are the shell uh, excuse me. These are the drum shells uh, made out of maple, six plies of maple. It's actually the same materials and same process that we use on our higher end drums, uh, but we've designed these a little bit different. Uh, they're designed to ship in a single box, a whole drum set. Whoa! Uh, shell, shells are all separate, and then the end user assembles the drum. Okay. And we've designed all the components to be incredibly easy to put together. Well, first of all, I just want to mention, I love how small all the components are. Yeah. Because as you know, the less a drum shell is encumbered by big lugs and stuff, the more the shell can sing and have tone. So that's really cool to see. Absolutely, and it, and it does make a big difference in the sound. Um, so this is the uh, the lug that you're talking about here. This is what we call the Instalite lug. And what's really cool about this, it's designed to install without using any screws, um, no tools required. So if you watch here, I can just snap it in. Whoa. It's ready to go. So we've taken not only about 112 screws out of the process of building a drum set, but now we don't have any screws that can loosen and fall out and rattle inside the drum. So or loosen your carpet while you're putting it together. Absolutely. So. Um, and then the rest of the components, such as this is the, uh, the triad suspension mount. Um, that installs using only two drum key screws. That's handy. And so essentially the entire drum set can be put together and also maintained with only a drum key. And you can build the whole thing in about 20 minutes and you end up with a USA made maple shell at a much more affordable price point. I love the fact that you could do all of that with a a drum tuning key. Number one, every drummer has one or eight or should, and hopefully you know where they are. I found one in a shoe once. Luckily, I didn't have the shoe on at the time. Yeah. But um, you know, with screws, uh, they can strip. You don't have your screwdriver. You can't find your screwdriver. Your tech is using it on the keyboard guy or whatever. That's cool. That's really cool. What sort of price point range do these retail for, Josh? Well, the street price on uh, the four-piece set, which we call this the Terabeat, that has the 10, 12, 16 toms and a 22-inch base. Uh, that's the street price is going to be around 10.99. Um, and then the Gigabeat set, which we've got over here, is uh, has a 12 and 14 inch toms and a 20 inch base. That's in the 949 range. Um, and then there's three colors. This this one here is Indian teak. The Terabeat set is shown in Macassar ebony. 
And then the uh, the Gigabeat set is shown in the Alpine blue. So those that's are cool. Three finishes, two configurations, and then we have add-ons: uh, eight, ten, sixteen, fourteen, and twenty-two inch. Cool. Yeah, so you can really round out your drum set and make it just how you want it. And it all comes in one box, which is really neat. Yeah, <laughs> is there something else you want to show us? Um, yeah, we could we could move on to a couple other products. Sure. Since we're in the booth. But okay, we'll be right back. Watch this trick. Whoa, that was cool. Now we're over here. Magic. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. Josh Allen here with Ludwig, the new snare. This is a cool finish. Yeah, so this is what we call the Twisted Salesman. Uh, back in the day, uh, Ludwig used to send out their, their sales team. Wait, did you say Twisted Salesman? We did. Isn't that a redundant statement? Uh, Just kidding. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Uh, back in the day, Ludwig used to send their sales guys out with uh, drum sets that were finished and all the finishes that we had. So it had kind of a rainbow, uh, rainbow stripe effect. And then we twisted it a little bit to give this cool kind of swirl barber pole effect. That's cool. So this snare drum has our, our new cast badge and the P86 snare drum. It's a seven ply maple shell uh, made in the United States and uh, available now. It has a very retro look to it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty cool, uh, unique snare drum. And are those newer shades of sparkle, or are those colors that have been in the product line for yeah, years and years and years? Red, blue. We've had all these colors in, in those the same shades. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Can we hear it? You want me to hold it for you and you play it? It's a fat sound. Maple bark, doesn't yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. What else can you show us? Well, I've got some Atlas hardware uh, oh, that I've, I've got some Atlas hardware that I'd love to show you that's uh, way over there. So All right. let's, let's pull out some more of that we'll, magic. Well, okay, we beam us over there. Boing. Okay, so now we're in front of some really cool Atlas hardware, and I think I see a cocktail kit, which we'll get to, because I can really use a cocktail now that we've on day three of NAM. Yeah. But uh, what do we got here? All right, so we've got uh, a whole bunch of new accessories that uh, that we're showing here. Um, they're all based around the technology of what we call the Atlas mount, and that's a new bracket that installs in place of a lug on just about any drum. What's really cool about that is it lets you put it with anywhere on a just about any drum without drilling any holes. And it also has suspension built into the mount, so it lets the toms and the bass drums and everything that is connected to it sing freely. Right, just kind of float a bit, right? Right. So so that's the, the foundation of the technology, but that lets us do a whole bunch of really interesting things with uh, with accessories. So uh, the first thing I'll show here, this is the what we call the Atlas Arch. And this is a rail consolette that's based off of the Atlas mounts and lets you add a tom mounting system to a bass drum, again, without drilling any holes. And there, it looks like there's a lot of versatile right. positioning available. Right. It'll fit 18 to 26 inch bass drums and you can obviously mount it anywhere you want. You can mount it toward the front of the drum, toward the back of the drum, off to the side, either side. Um, cool. So you can put it anywhere, yeah. yeah. Could you use something like this? on the side to clamp like a cymbal stand or cowbell stand, you know, something like that? You can do all kinds of crazy things with it, yeah. Um, the next thing is the uh, spurs here. Can you see those? Those are, again, based off the Atlas mount and gives a lot of versatility. Uh, they, they have uh, length adjustment, so again, they work with 18 to 26 inch bass drums. It can be installed without adding any holes to, to the drum. So it's great if you've got a vintage drum that, that uh, the spurs don't work particularly well and you want to put something a little bit more modern on it without drilling any holes in your shell. We're also using the mount to hold a cymbal onto the, onto the bass drum here. Uh, and then we have a lot of our cymbal accessories, such as this uh, classic telescoping arm or these scissor lifts. These are pretty slick. Um, we have two double axis tilters, so you can really position your cymbals wherever you want. I like that. Yeah. A lot. Um, <laughs> And if you look at this kit here, it, it's a little uh, little excessive, but we've got uh, five cymbal holders on it and no stands. Yeah. Um, so, so just. This is what I saw. I'm sorry. This is what I saw. I saw a picture of a kit that must. I guess now that I think of it, it must have been a Ludwig shoot because there was nothing. Where I saw this picture, there was no text. There was no story about it or anything. And it was um, a one up and two down. 
and there were a bunch of stands that were like, this must be what it was. And I was saying to a friend, look, there's no tripods, there's no rack, there's no stands. It just clicked that this is what I saw. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it, it really eases the load for uh, for a working drummer. You know, we actually did a lot of demos all around the country with this set, and we would bring basically all the hardware that you see here and put it in a laptop bag and carry it into the shop. Oh, wow. We're all used to the big, heavy hardware bags, but we can set up a kit with you know three or four cymbals and have all the hardware, including this rail mount, in a bag. That's cool for gigging too, of course. Absolutely. Oh, let's have a cocktail. Yeah, here we go. So this is just another example of the versatility of the Atlas mount. So basically what we did is took an off-the-shelf floor tom, snare drum, and tom tom and connected them together using these Atlas mounts. Again, these can all be added without drilling any holes. So, you know, you could take parts that you have, add these components, and all of a sudden you have a cocktail set. Um, so, you know, just showing the versatility of this system. It's kind of like Tinker Toys. You can build build your drums. The, uh, With, without completely remodifying the actual drum itself. Uh, exactly. Everything's reversible, and you can go right back to the way things were uh, when, you're, when you're done or onto the next crazy idea you have. Right. So for you versatile drummers that do all kinds of gigs, maybe you do uh, a big rock gig where you got all kinds of drums, and then you do something like this in the corner at a bar mitzvah or a party or something like that. This is cool. Yeah. How you could just, like you said, snap together, put together a different configuration, maybe even get creative and do that just to see how it might change your playing by having a different setup to mess with and drums in completely different places where you've never had them before. I like doing that with my kid. Yeah, me too. It's, uh, it's fun fun uh, to have those options. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining us, Josh. Josh Allen with Ludwig here on Drum Talk TV. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon with more interviews from NAM 2014 on Drum Talk TV.